Okay, so I sprayed the translucent blue. You can kind of see uh, it's a clear blue, so I'm going to be putting uh, silver behind it. But it's nice for the body to start getting some color. You can see where the mask is taken away. And this has a film on the outside, too, that will peel off at the end. So, kind of give a quick look at it so far. Those little squares in the back are going to be cool. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, so I put the silver back on the, uh, the dots on the hood. And now I'm taking the I'm trim I'm, well I already trimmed them but I'm just taking out the dots or I'm sorry I put the silver back on the dots on the roof and now I'm just pulling away the mask from the dots on the hood and uh, then I'm going to spray the light blue on the hood and you will get to see what that looks like but it's kind of hard to make out so far but you kind of get the idea Okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with the way these colors are looking. I backed everything in silver. Uh, that'll kind of protect the brightness of the color as uh, as it gets a darker back to it. Um, I had to go lighter up here because I'm, I'm doing a fade. You'll, you'll see when I'm done. But uh, I'm going to have to do uh, dark on top of that white because of this. Let's see, I couldn't really see the way around it. Uh, anyway, uh, I did the same thing with the front bumper. Uh, backed it in silver. Now I just need to peel off all the excess uh, in between here. And then I'm going to work on the fade from light to dark. So these, these spots are light to dark going this way. And then the background is going to be light to dark going this way. So uh, you'll see when it's done. Okay, so now you should get a better idea of what uh, we're doing here. It's uh, I'm going to take this color and put it in the background here, and this color and put it in the background here. And it's going to fade, uh, kind of like the bottle does. And, I mean, the, the can does. And uh, I've still got this blue uh, BLU logo outlined here. See, it says uh, Premium Drinks. And I've got uh, the back is still going to be white. And I've got the little blue logo cut out there too, so uh, it's coming along good. And uh, oh, I've got the uh, the bumper set up to go here too. I've been painting this along the way, so uh, it, the uh, I guess you would call them dots, or squares, line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying in my fade now. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm probably going to make an airbrush tutorial, but I'm using a uh, master airbrush. Um, I got them pretty, I got it pretty inexpensively. Uh, they're good airbrushes. I think it was like $35. And I use a little Harbor Freight uh, compressor that I think I got for $50 with a super duper coupon. Um, so uh, airbrushing is a whole other story, but definitely recommend getting into it. Uh, cans of spray paint are super expensive and uh, honestly a waste of money. It's like $15 a can and uh, one of these is $5 I think. and uh, That's probably the equivalent of like five cans I would say. So uh, Anyway, I'm going to start spraying in my fade now and I'll keep coming back and showing what it looks like along the way. Um, but overall I'm pretty happy with these colors so far. Alright, so I laid in the dark blue, actually it's transparent blue, you can see how transparent it is, uh, I'm trying to go heavier on the front, now I'm going to lay in the lighter blue on the back and start working it towards the front and then I'm going to go over again with the transparent blue on the front, but uh, again I like how it looks. 
Okay, so I, I brought in the uh, light uh, blue, and uh, <clears throat> it's actually made a really cool fade. Remember, this is all going to be white, and then there's some boxes in here that are going to show. So uh, I'm excited to see how this blue logo looks once I pull that off and lay in the white. But it's made a pretty cool fade here. Overall, I think it looks really good. So, uh, right now I'm going to go back and darken up the front with more translucent blue. And uh, still need to do the front uh, fender too. Uh, the, the front body kit. Uh, looks pretty good though. Alright, so I pulled off almost all of the rest of my mask now and I'm ready to go in with the white uh, I backed all of it in silver beforehand so you can see what I have left now and the, the BLU and premium drinks and the BLU on the back uh, I'm gonna peel those off last and put translucent blue So that I will be able to uh, put a light behind it and have it uh, glow blue. I'm going to actually put an LED behind it, so hopefully that will come out good. Uh, overall, I think it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and spray the white now. Okay, so I think I skipped a few steps, but I'll catch you up. I went ahead and filled in the white, and... Uh, I trimmed some of the body off. Uh, there's the blue uh, logo that's going to shine through. And uh, these are the squares that I made. I think they came out pretty cool. And uh, I still have to peel off the outside mask. You're not going to see that line when you do. I think the body looks pretty cool overall. I went ahead and did the rear bumper too. Uh, that's going to... Uh, it's going to fit right here. And again, that's the outside mask needs to come off. Um, and the front bumper is set to go on as well. Pretty cool.